Not so long ago, the Renault Zoe and Kangoo were the only electric cars manufactured in France. But in 2020, their number skyrocketed to include multiple new models across various body styles. The French have obviously set their vision on electrification, but are their EVs any good? Today we will try to answer the question by exploring the modern lineups from Renault and PSA conglomerates. Make your contribution to the fight against the internal combustion by subscribing to channel and let's get technical. Though still labeled a compact hatchback, the new generation Citroen C4 gains more crossoverish looks and for the first time in history comes with an all-electric drivetrain option. Based on the ECMP platform, it sports a 136 horsepower electric motor fed by a 50 kilowatt hour pack. According to the company, the EC4 is able to squeeze out 217 miles of range from this battery. While recharging times take from 7.5 hours with a standard European wall box to just 30 minutes using a 100 kilowatt public charger. The new hatch also rides on a gentle hydraulic suspension, gets unique 18 inch diamond cut alloy wheels and features all around LED lighting. Powered by a 52 kilowatt hour battery pack, the Zoe 50 is the current flagship of the Renault's electric vehicles lineup. It went on sale as a 2020 model, boasting of an increased driving range of 245 miles or 395 kilometers and adopting fast charging up to 50 kilowatts. This version of the Zoe is also available with a more powerful electric motor with 136 horses and e-shifter gear lever and a selection of new driver assist including an automatic parking brake. For the 2021 model year, the hatchback arrives in a limited Riviera edition that adds exclusive night blue exterior with matching 16 in diamond wheels and either navy blue or sand gray leather upholstery. The DS3 Crossback is a compact, all-electric crossover that is ready to captivate the market with distinctive DS styling, modern interior, and a completely digital cockpit. The car is powered by a floor-mounted 50 kWh battery that feeds a 136 horsepower electric motor. When the sport driving mode is engaged, acceleration to 62 mph takes 8.7 seconds, while the maximum driving range reaches 206 miles and can be achieved in the Eco mode. Since DS is a luxury brand, the crossover cabin is upholstered in the finest Napa or Alcantara leather, which is combined with high quality finishes, head-up display tech, Electra premium sound system, and the latest drive assist. The all-electric 28 belongs to the second generation of this B-segment hatchback, which is positioned above the 108 City's car and below the 308 compact family vehicle in the brand's range. The model is built on the new common modular platform from the PSA group that allows for a variety of electrified and ICE drivetrains. Peugeot says that the E208 offers up to 217 miles of driving on a charge, powered by an energy-dense 50 kilowatt-hour battery and a 136 horsepower electric motor. This Super Mini supports the CCS charging rate of 100 kilowatt, gets the brand's fully digital eye cockpit, and can operate in three driving modes. Internal combustion technology will not go out without a fight, so make sure to support the development of electric vehicles by liking this video. Watch this episode to the end and spread the word about awesome EVs. Let's proceed.
The history of the Twingo City Car started back in 1993 when it was introduced to the market as a quirky looking three door hatchback. Since then, the car received two overhauls, grew in size, and sprouted a pair of extra doors. But starting from 2021, it gets even more dramatic changes, adding ZE to its name. The mini hatch now comes powered by a single electric motor with 80 horses and gets a 22 kilowatt hour battery that boasts liquid cooling previously absent from Renault cars. The pack supports charging at 22 kilowatt and has up to 112 miles of driving in its sleeve. In early 2020, Peugeot launched its second EV after the E208 hatchback, and this time it is a crossover. The E2008 is offered in four trim levels, Active, Allure, GT Line, and GT, all of which get a single drivetrain setup, combining a 136 horsepower electric motor and a 50 kilowatt hour battery. The crossover has three driving modes, with the maximum range reaching 206 WLTP miles under the most conservative eco program. Inside, the model features all of the brand's latest tech, including the standard 3DI cockpit with an optional 10-inch touchscreen and a digital head-up display. Just a year after Citroen teased us with the AMI-1 concept, a 2019 Geneva Motor Show, the French launched the series version of the model. Looking like a microcar, the new vehicle is technically a light quadricycle, which means that it can be driven without a driver's license by anyone who has turned 14 in France or 16 in the rest of Europe. The two-seater is equipped with a 5.5 kilowatt hour battery that is good for 47 miles. This range should be more than enough since the AMI is advertised as a solution for urban commuting within the increasing number of 20 mile per hour zones in big cities. While DS already has one fully electric and two PHEV models in its range, the arrival of the DS Aero Sport Lounge signals that the company does not plan to curtail its EV ambitions. Though unlikely to ever go to production, the electric coupe SUV concept is tasked with showing off the brand's latest EV and tech advancements. The car uses a Formula E powertrain rated for 680 horses and mated to a large capacity 110 kilowatt battery with enough juice for more than 400 miles of travel. Its body has been designed to achieve optimal aerodynamics, contributing to the 0 to 60 acceleration time of 2.8 seconds. The concept also gets an AI assistant, while its infotainment can be controlled using gestures. With the last year's Kangoo ZE concept, the company envisions the future overhaul of model that is expected to be launched in late 2020 or early 2021. The concept gets a drastically different exterior design, but keeps the overall body language of the previous generation. The show car has large wheel arches and smooth body lines, while its front fascia is equipped with C-shaped headlights and a new ultra-cool LED strip that runs across the entire width and illuminates the company's logo in the middle. Renault is yet to disclose the van's technical information, but expectedly it should be superior to the current 33 kilowatt hour Kangoo, which boasts up to 125 miles of range.
What are your thoughts about the presented electric vehicle lineup? Which one is your top pick? Answer these questions in the comments below and support the electric revolution by liking this video. By subscribing to the channel, you will always get notified about new EV videos. So smash that red button and ring the bell without hesitation. See you later.